Hi and welcome to the channel. I'm Machine Dana. Good to see you. I hope you're doing really, really well. This is another video about Streamlabs OBS and how you can integrate different modules into your streaming. Uh, modules on Streamlabs OBS using the online platform streamlabs.com are a wonderful way of being able to get your viewers to engage more with you. Uh, with your stream and more importantly uh, to retain the viewers for longer and to get them to interact a little bit more with each other really really useful by doing just a few small things on your stream therefore the success of your stream therefore the longevity uh, of your stream and the popularity of your stream in this video i'm going to be specifically going into uh, one of the modules the chat alert module um, in this video and the settings that apply for that particular module if you find this video useful please feel free to drop a like on the video it really does help the videos to gain a little bit of traction or when people are searching for the same things that you were uh, and of course, if you want to see a little bit more content, if you kind of want more hints and tips and tricks about streaming, feel free to subscribe as well. This this little button here, um, I really appreciate it. I also stream nearly every single day on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash machine day. And feel free to drop a little follow and I'll more than likely follow you back. So without further ado, let's get into the module for chat alerts. So here we've got chat alerts. Um, hopefully by now you've already downloaded Streamlabs OBS. Uh, streamlabs.com you can set an account up in one minute it can you can log in using your twitch details uh, your twitch login details or your facebook login or your or your uh, youtube login details. what you first need to do is make sure that you've got the software of course at desktop application level uh, you need to have a streamlabs account uh, you can go to cloudbot here enable cloudbot with this particular toggle uh, and then click on the modules section. In this video, I'm specifically going to be going into detail about chat alerts, uh, how you use them and how you can configure them and how they work on your stream. So this is get notified in chat whenever an activity like a donation or a subscription occurs. Most of you have probably already seen the alerts that appear when someone follows or donates on other people's stream. And if you've not already got these applied, you'll hopefully find this video in particular very useful. So the chat alerts are specifically for getting notifications in chat whenever an activity happens like a donation or a subscription, not to be confused with the alert box, which is more overlays, GIFs, sound effects, and so on. The alert box widget and overlay uh, is more of a interactive tool, uh, which is not chat based. It's actually based on a, your screen. It just appears wherever you resize it on screen, whereas the chat alerts themselves will appear in chat so that you as the streamer can view that information and, and know when someone has followed you or given you bits or whatever. Um, but also more to the point that your, your chats uh, can also do the same, particularly the person that's just joined the stream uh, and may have followed you or just given the bits, he sees it in chat as well. It almost acts like a confirmation for those people as well as a reminder to yourself if you happen to have missed it those two are not particularly related although they are triggered by the same things so if i give bits on someone's stream alert box will do its thing and give me a gif or some custom text or a noise or whatever uh, cloudbot chat alerts module will actually do something completely different based on the same trigger so the bits will show in chat with a custom message rather than what the alert box. You can have one or the other or both activated at the same time. What we do here, first of all, we need to make sure that we have modded Streamlabs. And to do that, you simply type forward slash mod space Streamlabs in your chat. So you can do that on YouTube, on Facebook gaming, or on, of course, Twitch. Cloudbot itself needs to be enabled with this toggle and then chat alerts needs to be enabled. You then click on preferences. You can then choose to turn on or off the alerts for a specific action. For instance, you may decide I don't want an alert when someone raids me, in which case you can turn that raid off. Then you can simply go into every single piece of setting and amend those settings to your liking. So donations, you can add a chat alert and you can edit existing ones. First of all, for the donation amount set to zero, if someone donates basically any other amount, uh, this message will be the message that appears. So you're configuring specifically the message that appears on screen, right? So you can edit this, uh, just tipped, uh, for example, and amazing, and then, so you can add adjectives and so on and so forth. You need to make sure that you're leaving these kind of parameters in place here. Uh, you can add more parameters if you're 
kind of experienced enough to do that. Uh, I probably wouldn't advise doing that if you're a beginner. And it just helps you to customize the specific meshes that people see. The other thing you can do is that you can specify a particular amount and a particular message that goes along with that. So I might decide that if someone donates specifically $7 on my stream, I give them a custom message I can save that. What you may just want to quickly do is copy this message here and save it and then you can add the chat alert for zero so for any other donation amount it'll be this message that's given but for seven dollars specifically on your stream you will uh, just edit this uh, so it might be just tipped my lucky number seven and then it'll be the amount of the currency uh, good luck to you sir madam but it just allows an extra layer of customization to it. You click save on that. There are two now types of messages for donation. One that triggers on seven and one that triggers for basically every other type. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in the bin because I don't actually want to see that one. You can do the same things for following. Uh, this one's a little bit different here um, because this, uh, following is just a straightforward binary thing. It's a yes, no thing. So someone's either followed or they're not. Uh, you can just customize the message here. Again, you can turn that on and off with this. Uh, bits, you can customize this. Uh, and again, if you want to add a specific amount of bits, for example, one, two, three bits, you can then add a specific donation message from that. I'll just cancel that for now and just to illustrate the fact. To edit this one, you can copy the pre-existing donation message to make sure you're getting all the data. You click, you click add new alert. If you wanted to add for one, two, three bits, so when people specifically donate that amount, you can then say username has cheered an amount in bits. Now this will work particularly well if you also have commands and timers and reminders within your chat that almost encourage people to donate specific amounts of bits. And it just increases the likelihood that your chat's going to feel a little bit more special when they donate the bits because they'll be getting a more unique experience. Uh, rather than saying it has just cheered, you can put a custom message in there. You would click save on that. I'm just gonna bin that because I, again, I don't, don't particularly want the custom one for this on my stream. Ooh it with that with the uh the bin tool of course so that's uh that's bits we'll now go into hosts again it's just a, a host with uh, with viewers so i think setting it to one viewer it'll go one or more i think you can add chat alerts that allow you if, if someone does 50 or more viewers there's a more customized version of it that says wow i've never had that many uh raids before or wow that's a really big amount of people and again you would copy this text here into your new one here and then every time someone does 50 i think it's 50 or more but it might actually be the specific number um and then you've got two versions of it just looking at subscriptions if people subscribe with their prime with tier one two and three you can get custom message for those as well again you can edit the existing ones here I mean, a good thing to do here is I, I find is to put emotes and things like that into the notifications so if you actually add the emotes the standard emotes or even just the the worldwide emotes that you get uh i'll link a, a tool that you can use to find emotes i tend to use one called uh online tools emojipedia which is uh, emojipedia.org. You can then search for, my standard one is the robot, but obviously machine Dana. Uh, but you can you can search for different emojis and stick them in your customized messages subscription. For instance, you might want to put a one star, two star and a three star there. I really should probably update some of these myself and customize them. Raiding, okay, it's just a custom message for the raid for a specific amount rather than a host and sub and mystery gift. So when people are gifting, you can have, um, especially the mystery ones rather than uh, somebody can specifically gift to a specific person uh, sometimes you can also do it as a mystery gift and it just selects from the i think it's the most viewed people on stream would get that so if i if i gift five subscribers to your channel it would give it to i think either five random viewers or the five biggest viewers that you have in terms of loyalty um, that are not yet subscribed already so you can add customized messages for that uh, one thing just to also note is that if you want to have alert box on there, um, what you need to do is add the alert box to your stream. You can get a custom URL here, which you then need to add via OBS. Alert box just shows you on stream exactly what those um, alerts look like and you can customize those alerts to a more significant degree. And when I say a more significant degree, you can add GIFs, you can add custom sound effects, you can customize the duration, the size of the text, the color of the text, transparency, all kinds of other stuff 
on that. Uh, also volume. Volume's a key one. Like, my alerts are always too loud. I need to turn them down. Again, this video is not about alert box, so I won't go into too much detail into alert box. You can use alert box as a method for having notifications on screen, but they're more concerned with overlays on top of your screen, GIFs, custom size text, a duration, uh, a noise perhaps, custom messages and things like that. Alert box is slightly different to the CloudBot uh, module for chat alerts because the CloudBot chat alerts module is for notifications in chat whenever an activity happens like a donation or a subscription. I find this particularly useful for other viewers uh, who have perhaps missed something on stream and they come back 30 seconds or a minute later, they can see what's been happening in the stream, particularly like your mods and things that are a little bit more loyal that might appreciate other people perhaps following or perhaps subscribing. They might want to know that information. But the biggest use I've found so far for chat alerts by far has been that me myself, if I miss something in the events tab, uh, or section of Streamlabs OBS, it will show it in chat. And because I'm constantly monitoring the chat and interacting and engaging with the chat, of course, this gives me a better level of interaction with the users because I'm more likely to see when someone followed. I'm more likely to see when someone gives bits and various other things. Uh, so it just gives you and the viewers chance to interact with whatever has just happened on your or stream in line with these customizable functions here. So that's just about it for chat alerts. If you have found this useful, once again, please do give it a thumbs up the video. I do appreciate it so much, especially as a fairly new YouTuber uh, and fairly new streamer as well, actually. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Again, it's twitch.tv forward slash Machine Dana. Much love and appreciation. Machine Dana, I'll see you later.